Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell. You get notifications of this guy's videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday videos. See the Highlands? Do you remember when they got stuck? And if you didn't remember they got stuck because that video didn't go live, problem one. Bigger problem number two. They got stuck. It was really annoying. So what we're going to do is it's getting to, it's April. It's not getting to, it is April. They're going to go out to grass. The main highlands have got an idea for the two. They've got an idea for the others. I'll show you that now. She can start, she can start, she can start. Oh. No fear. The amount I do with this tractor is immense. We don't use a loader as much as I should or do. We use the uh, tractor loads. We're a little bit behind, so I'm racing around. The first two. Good way of loading cattle up here. We do a really good job, miss. Well, they regularly go through, so they know there's no difference. They know what they're doing, don't they? If a couple turns, a couple good days. Figure out how to throw my worries away. And if the world burns, I'ma be okay when I So they're in, the five of them are in there. These ones might jump about a little bit more. There's all 10 highlands out. So we put these guys here because they're not going to carve till at least July. The guys in front of the farm shop are looking at carving in the next month if they are in calf. We were going to PD them and I was going to make a video, but the highlands that are, that are due to carve are like nine months from carving. The vet was saying I could give it a handshake, um, but to scan, you wouldn't be able to scan anything. We'd probably be able to scan these little ones, but it's quite nice to have a surprise. We'll have to get them in again anyway to TB them. But this is a great, little track for them they will have plenty of grass in here probably too much so luke was actually saying maybe put some dry cows in here or even just put some the heifers of some sort in here so we can uh, just kind of eat it down we don't want to give highlands too much because we like to get fat the main thing is though highlands can't get stuck in here can you shouldn't have said that now the old highland pen we have a job for it i'm gonna go home swill this out and work on that tomorrow because Let's get to half three. We all know what that means. Milking time. So, it's the day after yesterday. Facts. And this is an absolute mess hole. What happened was the highlands escaped into the cows. Then the cows got into here and you can imagine the fun they had in a new bed of straw. So we just let them mix in the whole lot. That's why we took the highlands out because we didn't want to keep them in there and they get stuck in there as we might have seen already. Depends if that video came live. But our idea now is to get Manny 3, clean this out, bed it up. We're going to get some young stock in here.
So I've bedded him up, used about half the bale. The other half of the bale's there. Worst case scenario, a little underneath it. Best case scenario, I can bed up again in the next four or five days is the plan. You'll see that we have either used really cleverness, I don't think that is a word, but let's use it, or this is gonna be a really bad idea. But this is an old sheep ring feeder. The old, obviously the other ring feeder, the calves won't be able to eat out of it um, because it's too big. This is nice and small, be able to fit the heads in. Bit of muck on the bottom, but the bottom of this grass will just be the bottom. I bet we'll end up having to feed it again tomorrow. But we feed it every two days, so the bottom stuff's probably just gonna go waste. And then we've got the tubs there as well, over there, sorry. And then we can feed that. So we'll probably feed them a bag of cake once a day, because it's not gonna be loads, I think it's gonna be about 10. Here we go there, tip it all. That'll be plenty to start with. We just have to do it every other day or something. We'll see, eh? Pen. He's ready. I can chuck it. Luke, we're just saying there's a smaller one in that pen. It's the same age, it just hasn't done as well. So it's always been backwards a little bit. But we'll chuck it out and see what happens. We'll just monitor it. It's only me and Luke gonna look at it, so we kind of know what's going on, we'd like to think. And then we've got these big ones as well. They're ready to go, we just didn't have the room. But now we have the room, so everything is going out. I'll chuck you up there, because I'm gonna need my hands. They're in! I love these kind of videos, and we might have seen them. We've not done them for a while, to be honest, because I know how they react in this pen, and it's great to see them jump and fro frolic, frolic, frolic around. This is a great pen. Like Luke was saying, we could probably get double the amount of carbs in here. It's a great big pen. I'm using this outside area. They're less likely to get pneumonia. They'll keep warm out there. They keep fresh air, and it keeps the lungs really good, which is good. Good group of carbs. We like them, don't we? We do. Good group of carbs, fleshed up. Ah. Some of them are more fleshed up than others. That could even be an Angus. But you know, when you've got a Frisian, they're looking good as well. Everyone's going a little bit nuts. It's just amazing to see. This little black one has actually escaped this morning on me. And um, we were always going to move them today. It was just like, ah, they know they're ready to go. Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Highlands are out, calves are moved. And now it's a big old move to fill it up again because we've got, I think 16 calves in the carving boxes. So, big move up. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Everyone loves carbs. Jump about. See ya. Bye.